Just because you get a monitor, unfortunately, it doesn't make you an angel. Yeah. Jerry Erson, the chief deputy of the Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office, says this is an example of the ankle monitor that one of the two teens was wearing at the time the New Orleans Police Department arrested him as a suspect in the killing of 35-year-old Domino's Pizza delivery man, Richard Yeager. Based on that, he had two infractions back to back like that, even though they were technical. Uh, and he returned home both times when he broke curfew. Both teens had court ordered ankle monitors and one of them was assigned to the Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office. Erson says the ankle monitoring system uses satellite tracking and cellular technology to monitor offenders. The teen's first violation came on Saturday night where the ankle monitor placed him at the scene of an armed robbery where a 50-year-old woman was pistol whipped and her purse and car was stolen on Newcomb Boulevard just after 10.30 p.m. While the monitor doesn't tell them what the teen was doing when he left his restricted area, they gave him a verbal reprimand after that violation. His second violation occurred during the course of the NOPD's investigation into the slaying of Richard Yeager. And was able to detect that this person was at the scene of the murder during the, the time of the murder. That put him at the scene of where the pizza delivery man's body was found lying in the street. The NOPD contacted one of the Orleans Parish Sheriff's deputies once they learned that the sheriff's office had already obtained an arrest warrant for the team. Uh, we presented an informational pack to the juvenile judge uh, along with an arrest warrant request. Erson says the sheriff's office had no authorization to pick up the team after the first violation. They had to follow the guidelines set by the juvenile court for the ankle monitoring program. Uh, he's been on the program for us since September 2nd and has been a model uh, client for us up to this point. He also says that had that been an adult offender in the program, they would have had the option to make an arrest after either violation. He says while the software can track you wherever you go, it doesn't alert them when there is a problem. If we would have had more problems, you all would be here all the time. I mean, probably 95% of our clients uh, successfully get off the program.